I love biology, but I hated biology exams. I knew the content almost off by heart, but I still lost so many marks in exams because I didn't write the exact same words on the mark scheme. However, after analyzing hundreds of past paper questions, I learned how to hack exam questions to have the highest probability of achieving full marks. Lucky for you, in this video, I will summarize the secret of getting full marks on exam questions, step by step. So when you see an exam question, instead of having this face, you have this face. I'm focusing on biology exam questions, but you can easily use this tip for a lot of other subjects. Step 1. Identify the subject, topic and command word. You should be familiar with command words. Words that tell you the action you need to take, like explain, describe, comment. Now, the subject is the subject of the sentence, the specific noun you're referring to with the command word, and the topic is the chapter or area in the specification you want to refer to. Let's have a look at this example question. Explain one effect other than lung cancer that smoking has on health. Can you identify which is the subject, topic and command word? The command word is explain, since it is the word that is telling you the action you need to take. The subject is effect, because you're explaining the effect. And the topic is smoking. So you can also relate it to the cardiovascular system and the respiratory system. By identifying these elements beforehand, you make sure that you're 100% answering the question. Step 2. Find keywords and ideas related to the topic. Think of fancy technical terms in this topic. For example, can you give some keywords related to smoking? You might have terms like cardiovascular disease, lung cancer, alveoli, trachea, arteries, tar, lungs, bronchus, diaphragm, carbon monoxide. In every exam, you will find many questions that will only give you marks if you write down fancy technical terms. Step 3. Select the keywords relevant to the command term. From the previous step, you might have words that are useless for this question. So we need to select those that will actually help us. Using this example again, which keywords can we eliminate? Since the question asks us to explain one effect for two marks, we probably only need two words. One to say which is the effect, and one to explain its mechanisms. Let's go with the first term, heart disease, as the effect, and use the word arteries to explain why it happens. Step 4. Join the ideas. For example, we could write something like Heart disease because of blocked arteries. This looks suspiciously short. Let's check with the mark scheme. Full marks. As you can see, you don't have to write loads to achieve full marks. After this video, can you remember the four steps to writing a perfect exam response? Step 1. Identify the subject, topic and command word. Step 2. Find keywords and ideas related to the topic. Step 3. Select the keywords relevant to the command term. Step 4. Join the ideas. And move on to the next question with a confident smile on your face. Which types of videos would you like to see next? A. More exam techniques. B. Concepts in biology explained. C. Recent issues in biology and medicine. D. Creative ways to apply biology to the real world.